Bro, listen, before we dive in, let me hit you with something that might actually make you question reality for a second. Imagine a car with nearly 900 volt charging, a real world range so insane it embarrasses half the EVs sold in America, and the kind of luxury that makes a Tesla Model S look like a rental car from the wrong side of the airport. Now, imagine that same car costs less than what some people in the US spend on a used Corolla with questionable mileage. Yeah, that exists. And it's called the Zeker 001, the most shocking Chinese car ever made. A car so advanced, so luxurious, so unreasonably good that if you're a car enthusiast in the US like me, you're kind of laughing, but also sitting there like, yo, how the hell is China doing this while we're still stuck with cars that can't even update their software without freezing? If that didn't hook you, buckle up, because this car is honestly illegal levels of impressive. And hey, before we jump in, smash that subscribe button because I promise you, this is going to be one of the craziest breakdowns you've ever heard. Let's roll into the exterior, because the very first time you look at the Zeker 001, you don't think Chinese EV, your brain goes straight to, yo, is that a Panamera Sport Turismo? The front end is where the intimidation starts. Those ultra sleek Matrix LED headlights slice across the nose like futuristic eyebrows. They angle inward just enough to give the car that don't mess with me vibe without looking childish or aggressive just for the sake of it. And because it's an EV, it doesn't need a big mouth grill, but Zeker didn't cheat with some cheap plastic panel. They sculpted the bumper like something straight out of a European luxury playbook. Sharp cuts, aerodynamic channels, and a hood that's long, smooth, and slightly sloped, giving the car the feeling that it's moving even when it's parked. It's the kind of front end that makes you stare for a few seconds before you realize, damn, that's actually beautiful. Move to the side, and this is where the Zeker 001 officially stops pretending to be just another EV and becomes a shooting brake masterpiece. The body is long, low, athletic, sitting on a stupidly long 3,005 millimeter wheelbase, which is longer than some SUVs here in the States. That gives the whole car a stretched, grand tour vibe usually found in cars far more expensive. The roofline sweeps back in a gentle arc, not dropping aggressively like a coupe, but tapering smoothly enough to give it that exotic European wagon aesthetic. The flush door handles pop out only when needed, the windows are framed in a clean chrome line, and the wheels, bro, the wheels, up to 21 inches, filling out the arches like a high-performance sports tour. This side profile alone makes Tesla and even Lucid look a bit corporate, while the Zero Euro One looks artistic. And the crazy part? It's all functional. Aerodynamics, efficiency, speed, range, everything is there for a reason. Now, the rear end, I swear, this car knew exactly how to finish its design because the back is a full flex. A massive full-width LED light bar stretches across the tailgate with dynamic animated turn signals that look straight out of a sci-fi movie. The bumper is clean and muscular without being bulky, and the slight droop of the roof into the rear hatch gives the entire silhouette this sporty, almost shooting brake meets luxury limo vibe. If a Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo and a Tesla Model S had a baby, and that baby grew up in a high-tech Chinese super lab, this is what it would look like. It's sleek, without trying hard, sporty without killing practicality, futuristic without being weird. Simply put, the exterior design is elite. But the moment you open those frameless automatic doors, all bets are off. This interior might be the most shocking part of the whole experience. It's not minimalist in a boring let's remove everything and hope nobody notices way like some EV brands do. It's rich, it's luxurious, it's futuristic, it's packed. You step in and you immediately feel the quality. Top grain leather mixed with suede, soft touch materials everywhere, stitching that looks handcrafted and seats that are honestly nicer than what Mercedes puts in some of their cars. They're heated, ventilated, massaging, memory equipped, deeply bolstered, and the seat controls move in that quiet, buttery smooth electric glide that screams premium engineering. You sit down and the whole cockpit feels like stepping into a private first class pod. The centerpiece is that massive 15.6 inch touchscreen that can literally turn towards you or turn towards the passenger. No joke, it pivots like it's alive. You've got a digital instrument cluster in front of you and above that, the most ridiculous 
35.5 inch augmented reality head up display. It doesn't just show speed, it overlays navigation, warnings, and real world directional cues right on your windshield like a video game HUD. And all of it runs on Zeker's powerful next gen computing system with a lightning fast interface. It's the kind of setup that makes American EV UI look like Windows XP. The ambience inside is ridiculously premium. Ambient lighting wraps around the cabin in a soft, elegant glow. The 28-speaker Yamaha sound system pumps out up to 3,000 watts. That's home theater quality inside a car. You get wireless charging, dual-zone climate, soft closed doors, insane amounts of storage space, a panoramic roof, and a suite of screens and buttons that somehow don't feel overwhelming. Rear passengers get their own controls, vents, huge legroom thanks to that long wheelbase, and seats that feel like Zeker actually cared about them, not just the front passengers like some Western brands do. What blows me away most is how this cabin strikes the perfect balance between luxury lounge, performance cockpit, and futuristic spaceship. It doesn't borrow from European brands, it competes with them, and honestly, it beats many of them. As an American car lover, sitting in here would make you seriously question what the hell is going on with our manufacturers. Now, real talk. Can you use it as a family car? Absolutely. The Zeker 001 seats five, but not the tight five you get in some sedans. The legroom is fantastic. The shooting brake design gives it a wide opening rear hatch. And because the roof doesn't slope aggressively, you get a surprisingly large cargo area. Fold the seats and it becomes a family road trip beast. Groceries, easy. Strollers, check. Luggage for a week-long trip, no problem. This car is the rare unicorn where performance, luxury, and practicality meet in the same place without sacrificing anything. Okay, engine time. And this is where the Zeker 001 turns into a monster. It's fully electric, rolling on cutting edge battery tech. The newest version uses a 900 volt platform, which is faster than what most American EVs even plan to use. You can pick between rear wheel drive and dual motor all wheel drive, but if you choose the all wheel drive, holy hell, that thing pushes out up to 680 kilowatts, which translates to around 912 horsepower. Let me repeat that, 912 horsepower in a luxury shooting brake, in a normal consumer EV, that's supercar territory. It rockets from zero to 16 under three seconds. Battery options go up to Cat L's Keelan packs, some trims offering almost 540 miles of real world range. Not theoretical range, actual highway tested range. In charging, the new setup can go from 10% to 80% in around seven minutes under ideal conditions. Seven minutes, that's faster than buying a coffee at Starbucks when the line is slow. Safety wise, Zeker didn't cheap out. The O0 one packs structural reinforcements, a ton of airbags, and one of the most advanced ADAS systems in any consumer EV. It uses dual mobile eye chips with high resolution cameras, radar, lane keeping, highway assist, auto braking, the whole suite. And with outstanding efficiency and thermal management, it even scored extremely high in independent safety and environmental tests. All right, now the moment your wallet has been waiting for. With everything we've talked about, supercar power, luxury interior, massive range, next-gen tech, you're thinking, what, 90K, 110K, something stupid like that? Well, brace yourself. The Zeker 001 starts around 36,000 USD in China. Yeah, you heard that correctly. For less than what people in America spend on a used Corolla with 120K miles in a prayer, you can get a 900 volt luxury shooting brake EV with massaging seats, 3000 watt audio, and supercar acceleration. Try finding anything close to this from Europe or the US at that price. Spoiler, you won't. So I gotta ask you, if the Zeker 001 came to America, would you get this or something like a Tesla Model S or even a Porsche Taycan? Like seriously, what would you choose? This insane Chinese EV for Corolla money? Or the usual Western picks? Drop your answer in the comments because I need to see what side you're on. And if this video blew your mind even half as much as this car blew mine, make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe, and drop a comment for the algorithm squad. What do you think? Is this the future family car or the future flop America wishes it had? Let me know and stay tuned because next time on Dragon Drive, we're going even deeper into the cars that are quietly rewriting the rules while the rest of the world sleeps. See you in the next one. Peace.